Hello, from the studios at Pascual Bravo University. Welcome to Activate Your Grammar. Today, we are going to look at either, neither. We use either to compare two things of the same kind, whether these are ideas or concepts, and one is correct. According to the context, either can mean one or the other. For comparison, in Spanish it means cualquiera, uno, otro, otros, o ambos. We use neither to put together two ideas or concepts, but none is correct. According to the context, neither can mean not one nor the other. For comparison, in Spanish it means ninguno, ningún, tampoco. More than looking in detail to the whole structure, bear in mind there are four categories in which we use either or neither. The category and structure is as follows. Conjunction, either A or B. For example, either written or spoken. Neither A or B. Neither written nor spoken. As a determiner, either plus singular noun. Example, you can watch it from either side of the bleachers. Neither plus singular noun. Neither option is good enough. Pronoun. Either of the plus plural noun. Either of the cell phones is an okay buy. Neither of the plus plural noun. Neither of the transportation routes are a good option. Pronunciation tip. The previous examples have been pronounced either and neither. But the following, which is the adverb, will be pronounced either or neither. Example. Either of plus the object pronoun. Example. Choose one of the flavors. Either of them is fine. Neither of plus object pronoun. I like neither of them. As it has been remarked before, context is key, as in the case of either and neither, there are four ways of using it. And, according to the use, the variation in the structure, bear in mind that it is also possible to use either or neither in different tenses. Congratulations! Now you understand how to use neither and either in English. Good luck! <laughs>